Hi guys, uh, right, I'm doing something different this weekend, um, as you've just seen, the draw, um, I'm actually fishing a two-day festival in the um, South Wales, in a place called Merthyr Tidville, um, run by Merthyr Anglin, uh, it's called, uh, well, Pond Stickle Reservoir and Dochley Gear. Now, over the two days, you have uh, you draw either on Pond Stickle and Dolly Gear or Dolly Gear and Pond Stickle. So you each day you fish one of the different lakes. Now there was a pre-draw the night before, and um, I uh, drew well. They drew for me, of course, and I drew Pond Stickle. A Pond Stickle is the, the larger of the reservoir. Um, Dolly Gear, which uh, if you've been following my vlogs, is the one I fished a couple of weeks ago, which I won a section off. Um, so that I'll be on tomorrow. Now they reckon that's the better uh, uh, lake, if you like, um, or reservoir. Uh, and um, although you know, who knows? Because it's such a huge place. Um, and I've drawn peg three in what they call the pine trees. Um, so they say it's not a re it's not a bad draw, but uh, obviously it's over wait over two days. So if um, if you if anyone bombs out on the first day, they've always got a chance on the second day. Uh, they were saying that Dolly Gear was the better um, draw on the day, you know, for the first day. But you know, fish swim, and you never know. After bait's gone in, um, you know, especially bream, they move move over to it. So um, anyway, um, I've just got to my peg now. So uh, well, not my peg, my area. I got to find my peg now. Go and have a look at it. Uh, and I'll show you some pictures. It's uh, it's like Welsh God's country. You know, it's uh, beautiful scenery. Bit of a uh, damp day today, though. Bit of rain forecast, I think. But otherwise, um, it's a lovely, lovely scenery, you know. Uh, huge reservoirs. Um, you know, they were meant for uh, for drinking water, you know, for down in the uh, the cities. So, um, as you say, it's only the last few years that uh, it's become popular again you know thanks to the mirth angling and uh, this festival is uh, um, the first of hopefully many uh, over 50 anglers you know so 25 on each uh, venue um, and as I say it's all on weight so uh, should be interesting we've got some uh, really good anglers here I mean I just talked to dead ship now uh, he's come over there's um, Adrian Wills, a couple of Lee Edwards you know a couple of really top anglers fishing today so uh, a couple of work cut out can only do my best. Okay, so I'll, um, I'll see you down at the peg now in a minute. Okay, guys, we're about to start in a minute. Uh, let's say peg three. There's not much to choose between the pegs, except I'm in the middle. <laughs> uh, the two ends. Yesterday, that's where they had the weights. Both ends. So this is like a five peg mini section here. Uh, I think there's another five on the corner. I think there's 15 and then opposite the bank. Um, so there yeah. So I'm just going to keep it simple, you know. Um, and see a few of them got a few feeder rods there. Well, I set one up and, I, and also a, uh, I set a feeder rod up just for feeding, if that makes sense. So we put in about a dozen uh, cast of that in, and then uh, I'll be fishing um, over the top of that. I don't want to go out too far if I can help it, because it's quite deep here. It's a 22 second count um, with a 40 gram weight. So I always say it's about a second every foot. So maybe 22 foot. It's quite deep, you know. A bit deeper than uh, Port Talbot where I used to fish, because that used to go about 17. So this is probably about five foot deeper. But it's very similar, very similar. Just hope there's similar type of fish. <laughs> As I say, uh, that's my fish was over 40 years ago. So, um, yeah, looking forward to it. So anyway, the match can start in a minute. Um, as I say, there's not much you can show on a feeder. Uh, 
be interesting to see if they ball it in. I'm not sure if they're going to ball it in. I wouldn't have thought so. I think they're all going to feed her, just put it in with the feeder, I think. As I said, it's very difficult to their local lads and, uh, you know, they know what they're doing. <laughs> but I shall use uh, my experience in the past and see what I can come up with. So anyway, as I say, it's not about uh, winning really, it's about just getting a good weight for tomorrow. All the lads are reckon there's £20 possible on these pegs here, so we shall see. The wind keeps changing round, it was left to right just now, and now it's right to left. Now it's in my face, so... <laughs> okay, catch you in a minute. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, um, it's halfway through the match and I think I'm getting a bit battered here for the local lads. But um, I'm going to show you something because I'm, I'm set back from everybody else. Not that I'm making excuses, like, but the two end pegs are, are beating us. And I'm getting beat both sides as well, so. <laughs> yeah. It's always tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know if you see the contours of this, this bank. See, mine's in the middle. And I'm sort of set back from everybody else. But anyway, that's my excuse. <laughs> yeah, the end pegs. Lovely bit of water though. I better get back fishing. I have eight pound eight, so uh, uh, apparently there's uh, loads of twenties over the other side. So <laughs> anyway, never mind. Um, tomorrow's another day, and the uh, the good uh, area uh, it was fifty odd pound one the uh, doffy year. So uh, yeah, let's hope we draw on the fish tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Morning guys, <laughs> um, it's the second uh, day now of the festival, uh, just talking to a couple of the lads there, uh, there's a lot of people blown out so um, I think you needed uh, for the sound of it 20 to 30 pound to stand a chance today because uh, as I said there's a there was a 15 40s um, which are lead in so there are, uh, anyway let's see how it goes and uh, we're going drawing out um let's see there's some top banglers uh in the you know in the running as well you know um there's adrian whittle there and dead ship you know they're all up there so with uh 30 pound so, so i wouldn't surprise me if the winner comes from uh one of them too or a few or a couple of the local lads who are right up there okay see you in the see you at the draw now Second day draw. Yeah, right. Do you want me to say? 41. All the clubs are coming today. Twenty-eight. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I have no clue what that is.
Okay, the match is over. Um, well, this section here, some good weights up here yesterday, but I think today, um, not so good. Um, I've had a pretty good day on the roach, on the waggler and that. Um, I think he might have caught out in the end. Uh, so I'm hoping to, like, you know, try and win this little section if I can. <laughs> But uh, as I said, the overall uh, two days didn't have, a, didn't have a weight yesterday, unfortunately. So, yeah, it's a beautiful scene. Look. Angler's pegged over there, see? Twenty five anglers over there, I think. Okay, right, just wait for the way. You know, um, these guys on the end, uh, they reckon they got fifty pound each, so <laughs> there you are. So it was a cracking venue, you know, um, definitely worth a, a trip up here. Yeah? Uh, you can get day tickets for it as well. Um, as a match venue, it's a bit iffy because. Uh, it's very peggy like but um if you could choose your peg you, you certainly have a good day up here as i say it's a lovely scenery you yeah, know right up on the top of the uh the Merthyr. yeah so uh, anyway I've, I've enjoyed my day um i enjoyed the weekend really uh I, I wasn't in contention but you know as you say can't uh can't do it all the time can you <laughs> um as I said, I went on the wagon. I wish I'd done. I wish I fished sure match. To be honest with you, um, I would have probably had a, a fair weight. I wouldn't have had fifty pound. Um, you know, I've uh, I had uh, fifty three down the dock. 
um, on the Wagler uh, back, um, ooh, back last year, I think it was. Well, it wasn't that long ago, maybe six months ago. And I can say that the fish on here are a lot bigger. So if I could have kept them going on here longer, I could have probably done 50 pounds of them. But there, uh, it's, all, it's all good stuff. Um, there's been a couple of carp sort of hooked, apparently, but I got a feeling they're pike. Uh, I think people are playing out these big pike thinking they're carp. <laughs> no, they, they've lost them anyway. Nobody's landed one. Uh, yes, anyway. Okay, let's wait for the weigh-in now and uh, see what I got. On the end, could possibly win the match, who knows? <laughs> Eight, nine. Fifty nine pounds. Fifty nine pounds. Well done. Yeah. That win the win match. Is it? Yeah. Where? Sixty. Where that? Scott. Scott. What? Adam Bandle. Forty five. Forty. Forty five. Forty five for Adam. So this is uh, next to me. You recording that? Yeah. He's asked me to. <laughs> Here he is. Welsh wizard James. Welsh wizard. Hung over. Hung over. Seeing 45 rods. And How much? And, and he admitted to 30 pound and weighed in 19. Yeah. No. I want to fucking sell some. <laughs> is, that, is that on record? Yeah. Yeah. You fucking bell end. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's your video. Huh? No. Yep, I got it. Fucking hell, you see how tight you're not going to have that fucking thing on you? There was a dead perch just floating fucking past me. I'm talking from the fucking new piece of there. And I just landed a fish, and as I fucking dropped my feet, the rod on the thing, we did it Yeah, so it's all on the way back. Well, then, then. 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 Well, 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 then. Fucking big boy to give. Twenty pound. Look, twenty pound. So yeah, that's a nice size fish. I say those skimmers at the end, fifty nine and a forty five. So I think their ship is on this. Yeah, I was talking to him earlier. Feathers. He had a good weight yesterday, and he's at fifty seventy. Landed a cap. Eight pound cap. Yeah, you know, see if we can get the results later.